Hello everyone and welcome to Decadence, a indie HIO horror game. Take you, Dean, to be my husband. For better, for worse. In sickness and in health. Till death do his part. Okay, okay. I was not expecting voice acting. Is that black moon on the wall? Hmm. You have one new message. Beep. Hey, honey, I'm Blip. coming home from work soon. Had to stay late to finish. Can you set the table on the counter before you settle in? Uh, I guess I can set the table. Looks like the plates are up top of the glasses. Oh. Uh, silverware. No, no. Ah, here we go. And we just plop. I didn't even have to put them down one at a time. Nice. Hi, Dean. Long time no talk. How's the newlywed life treating you? I've been missing you two and figured it's about time we caught up, so here I am. Uh, penning this letter in hopes of reconnecting and maybe even convincing you to pay your dear old mama vi- No, goodbye. Goodbye. Not eating it. Again, honey? You keep on forgetting. Oh, stop complaining. I was running late for work. Uh, okay. We'll do it now. I... I mean... Okay, so apparently... This game does not like... My, uh... Oh, where did she put that ring? Yes, where did she put that ring? Probably... In the bedroom? Or... Ah, bathroom. Yep, right there. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, you get to see PNG tuber me. PNG, yes, lovely. Mm. Then we talk about how, uh, how delicious Dirk's are. Yes. What the? This is the second time this week. I have to clean this up before she gets home. Is, is someone throwing a fit in my kitchen? We'll be throwing a fit in my kitchen. Uh, I want to throw it away, thank you. Dean, I forgot my keys. Can you unlock the back door for me? Uh, I could, but let me check the front first. Anyone here? Ah. Oh. Someone's standing at the back of the hallway. Lovely. I love it. Yep. They're totally not going to inch closer as we continue to proceed, right? Right? Hello? I see, it's a PT game. Got it. Well, it's gotten bigger. Actually, what's happening outside? What's happening outside? Are they closer? No, it turned from a person's shadow to black mold on the ground. Hmm. <laughs> Unfortunate. Uh, there's books thrown around this time. Oh, Anita, are you in the shower? Can I join you? Oh, hey, Dean. Can you clean the mess you left in the living room? Mess? You left your books all over the table. Oh, the books what you were mess? talking about. Uh, Fine. Don't forget to take out the trash. You know, this has moved since before. So... Is it different day, then? Hmm. What does this say? I, I can't read it. It's, it's too small for me. Okay, take books and yep, we have to put them away. There we um, go. Perfect. I think I can go for some fresh air. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll go to the mysteriously opening door. What was that? Can you check it out? Yeah, I'm checking it out. It's just our other apartment that's connected to our apartment that's within our apartment that has even more black mold than our current apartment. And I'm going to check outside again. What's happening? This is fine. This is all packed. Oh, she likes to be a gift. Better hide it in the closet before she gets home. Okay. Why would you hide it in the closet? She tends to look in the closet very often, especially when she needs to change clothes, which is probably like every five hours or something. 
You know, we, we really should just hide in an attic or something. Oh. Hmm. Hello? Oh. Anita? Are you okay? Uh. Not now. I need space to breathe, please. You're suffocating me. Uh, uh, Come out but, here and but, talk to me. I, I, I was trying to be nice. Are, are you the one who is at the end of the hallway? No. Hmm. Unless you can multiply. Unless you can multiply. Let's finish talking. Open the damn door. Uh. I'm sick and tired of your shit. I said leave me alone. I mean, Dean, you're being very forceful. What? What's happening here? Oh. I swear, he was here. I, I heard her. Uh Yeah, this is fine. Uh, I have no flashlight, it's fine. Let's just go this way. Ooh, it's even darker. Hello? Now I'm a little worried. You're not there anymore. There's no black mold there either. Oh Hi. You're inside my walls. Got it. What's this? Dear Dean, we hope this letter finds you well. We are writing to address a matter that has come to our attention regarding your recent absence from work for six days without prior notice or explanation. As an integral part of our team, your presence and commitment to our re to your responsibilities are crucial for smooth operations of this company. We kindly request that you provide us with an explanation of your absence during the specified period. This will enable us to understand the circumstances surrounding your absence and explore potential ways to address any challenges you might be facing. To avoid any negative impact on your professional development and your overall function of our team, we kindly request that you adhere to our attendance policy moving forward. We encourage you to schedule a meeting with our manager, Juli Juliet, at your earliest convenience to discuss your recent absence and any underlying concerns that you may have. Thank you for your attendance to this matter. Sincerely, Arthur. Well, Arthur, I'm dealing with paranormal entities that spawn from black mold right now, and I'm in a looping existence of my apartment. Of course I'm not going to work. I can't get the fuck out of my apartment. Ah, <sighs> swear. Overdue payment for funeral, surf. Oh. His wife died. His... And it's coming up on the anniversary. We haven't been looping, we've been going through days. And his wife has been dead this whole time. It's fine. This is... Perfectly fine, you know? Hmm. Is that why everything's becoming more and more messy? Is because no one's high. Going this way. No one's here to take care of him. Hi. Moving day! We're not the first to live in this apartment, and we won't be the last, but we'll be the ones who never leave. That's a little... Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Oh, I... I... I okay. I'm gonna leave. Oh. Hello? I can't move. I can't move. Someone slammed the door shut on me. How dare. I'ma just leave. I don't need to stay with this bullshit. Anniversary. Crying on voicemail? 
She blacked out my picture? Dear Coleman, I hope this... Um... Okay. Seems to have been tampered with. Who's been tampering with my cassette tapes of my wife before she died? Hmm. Am I the one who did it? Someone come crawling out of the TV? Please? Please? No? No one's gonna end my misery like that? Fine. <sighs> so many dirty dishes, I'm not dealing with that. Nope. Nope. Why, why is there so many doors, by the way? Why is there so many doors? Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Oh, hi. Um, I, I, I'm sorry, you got the wrong house. I'm not selling any, I, I'm not buying anything. Uh, is this anniversary day? Is this anniversary day? It is. You know, I keep forgetting to check the people. Uh, how dangerous is it out there? Ah, oh, you can't even check anymore. Lovely. Ah, uh, it's been tampered with. Ah. Uh, no. No. I, I, I can't go that way. Hello. I, I would... I would like a whole lot of nope here. I, I don't want to be here, but I have to be here. So let's talk it out, I guess. Are you a little upset? You look as beautiful as you did four years ago. I'm sorry, Anita. I can't let you go. We'll be together forever. Even death could do us part. Shouldn't you be scared of those candles floating in the paranormal events? No, you're just you're just gonna continue on with a corpse bride. Yeah, you're just a corpse bride. Okay. Yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.